this is Demi and welcome to my YouTube channel. On my last vlog, I introduced podcast marketing by defining what a podcast is, giving examples of existing podcasts, and pointing out advantages and disadvantages. Today, I'll dive into how we can use podcast marketing as a marketing strategy and when to use it. Podcast marketing can be used as a strategy in the awareness and engagement stages of the brand depending on what type you'll be using. There are two types in which the marketer can use podcast marketing. Number one, branded podcasts. And two, podcast advertising. So, what's the difference? Branded podcasts are podcasts which are started by the brands itself. Here are a few examples. On a brand perspective, branded podcasts are an effective way to establish that your brand is an expert at what it does, which leads to building trust between your market. To get a glimpse of branded podcasts, I invited Ali Sangalang for a phone interview. Ali is one of the founders of Linya Linya, who also has a branded podcast called The Linya Linya Show. Kailan sa Facebook na kayo, Instagram, Twitter, tapos ito na nga, meron kayong The Linya Linya Show. but podcast yung napili yung next platform? Anong galing ito actually kay Jim at kay Sab, eh. part sila ng Linya Linya, no? Mm-mm. Nauna na silang nag-podcast, eh, noon pa. Nagulat din sila sa reception nung nabuo nilang community. So, parang naisip din ni Jim, bakit hindi natin gawin to sa Linya Linya? Uh-huh. Kasi ang point naman namin ay to build a community. Mm-mm. And to interact with our people. Uh-oh. Hindi lang kami one way na parang, oh, magjo-jo kami, tumawa kayo, mag-comment kayo, tapos bumili kayo ng t-shirt, bye-bye. Okay. Hindi ganun eh. Gusto namin Uh-oh. may palitan eh. So, gusto namin, sino ba sila? Gusto namin silang mas makilala. Si podcasting ba, naka-help siya sa revenues na maniling din niya? I think so. I think so. Kasi another channel nga siya to, to communicate. Meron siyang ambag. Isa pa kaming direct na ginagawa, no, Demi, na no, may promo code kami. So, para lang yan sa mga listener. Kung hindi ka nakikinig, hindi mo magagamit yung promo code na yun sa online store. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Meron kaming incentives din for listeners. Mm-mm. So, meron din kaming mga giveaways. Ang nakoconsider nyo mag-advertise sa iba pang podcast? Mm, hindi. Hindi as of now. Mm, okay. May may reason ba behind? Well, kasi meron na kaming sariling podcast. Sarili. Okay. Oo, parang hindi pa namin makita yung yung need na gawin niyan. Pero mm-hmm. siguro isang way na ginagawa namin, ako, may mga parating din akong collaborations with other podcasts eh. Mm, okay. Oo, so yun, in a way pala napopromote kami din. Podcast advertising, on the other hand, is when you place your brand advertisement on an existing podcast. This is a great way to capture a niche market because this opens a lot of possibilities on collaboration. For a better reference, I asked the podcast show, The Skeptic and the Rusty, if I can join them in one of their episodes. Do you monetize your podcasts now? Now, technically mm. not yet. Okay. But we do get brands that um, do advertisements with us Mm-mm. and we don't really ask for money. Okay. But currently, parang what we do is we ask for stuff that they would want to give away on the show. Okay. Like for example, um, New Era. New Era gave us caps because they want to reach out to the market that we're catering to. So it's more of them tapping our listeners. Okay. And of course, I think, um, especially in marketing, parang connection plays. Eh. Especially with the podcast market growing. So, I think okay. the appeal is, unlike, for example, TV and YouTube na you actually have to watch and see kung ano yung ina-advertise for a podcast. You can just listen low-key during work, uh, mm-hmm. while you're at the gym. While driving. Commuting and all that. Yeah. Pwede mo siyang ano. So, yung, yung access and yung repetition for me is yung appeal ng podcast, podcast advertising. advertising. Yep. Ah, Okay. So mm-hmm. there are a lot of different podcasts that cater to different kind of niche to the market. So, if you ask me, podcast marketing is definitely something marketers should consider. It has a small audience, but they're growing, more focused, and more impactful. The podcast trend has a potential of growing more over time. But for now, I wouldn't consider it as a standalone marketing strategy. This would go well with other content distribution platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, or Reddit. 
So that concludes today's vlog. I hope you guys learned something from that. Click the like and subscribe button below to join my 9 to 4 subscribers. And if you haven't followed me on social media, feel free to do so. Thanks and see you guys next time.